Hi boys, what is going on? So, we gotta get this video filmed. So I'm staying up like all night just to get this video filmed that worked. And we have not been able to work on this truck in like two weeks because things just kept popping up. So, today, here's the current state of the truck. We are going to be taking out the powertrain, hopefully. So I'm gonna stay up all day to try to get everything buttoned up. So, we got the transfer case. Already disconnected the uh, thingy-majiggies. I don't know why I can't think of it right now. The drive shaft, that's out. Um, we're gonna drop this, the transfer case, take out the transmission and the motor. So that's the goal for today. Hopefully uh, we gotta get a couple more things out. I'm trying to disconnect the exhaust. I've already got it disconnected from the turbo. There's literally one more hanger. I might just cut it and just say screw it. Um, besides that, it's like four bolts on each side for the motor mounts one like two there and two on the other side and then just got to finish taking this wire harness off which is almost completely disconnected um got to figure out where we're going to pull this from so i might have to take i might have to take some stuff off I'm not sure yet what but besides that that's what we're going to start doing and then after that we are going to drop the axles so that we can just have just the frame and we're gonna sandblast this clean because it's not looking too good right now. So that's that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna hopefully have this all gutted today. So that's the goal. We'll see. Alright, here's where we're starting right now. So I've already got this disconnected from the turbo. Um I couldn't get these last time, so I sprayed them. Hopefully they come out and then hopefully we can just drop the rest of this. So this will just come out and then we can just drop the rest of the muffler. And then I just kind of want it out of the way so that we can just pull the motor and have no issues and get all this stuff out, no issues, and just not have things in the way. I don't like things in the way, it just annoys me. So that's what we're doing. This is nuts if I'm looking at this right. So I believe that's where the bolt's supposed to be for the motor mount. And where that is right there, that's the mount. It's not even near it, and there's no bolt in there. So this thing has been on one motor mount like one bolt in the motor mount on the other side but why i'm thinking that is if you look at this one they're lined up so this whole time this wasn't lined up which kind of looks a little crooked i guess so i wonder if this motor's ever been pulled because that's a little weird that the bolt just fell out which is kind of weird too no idea that's crazy though That worked. I don't know how this is gonna go because I've never done it, but I got a transmission jack I'm trying to put it underneath. Um, this thing is very awkward size, so I don't know if it's just gonna tip over and that's it or what, but I'm gonna take these three bolts out on this side, these three on this side, and it should, it should drop out. But we're gonna see what happens. I really don't wanna drop this on myself. That would suck. There we go. All right, this is how we're doing it. Hopefully it doesn't fall, we'll see. Um, took the two bolts out for the mount. It's unbolted from here. We're gonna pull the motor first. And then after we pull the motor, hopefully this doesn't fall. Any, any thoughts? This thing's literally a walking final <laughs> destination. <laughs> all right, RIP. All right, both are out from this side and I can't even show you but from that side as well they were a pain in the ass to get but they're out now hopefully the motor will come out now we are about to see so I'm picking this up the next day I was getting very frustrated last night and it was getting very dark quick and very cold quick today's another nice and cold day in the morning um starting early I'll show you what we have going on right now so the motor is basically out Everything is disconnected. I just have it hanging here because it's having a problem moving the uh, hoist. It just doesn't want to roll right now. I'm guessing because there's so much weight on it. So I might need some help pushing it. And then uh, tranny's already disconnected. I finally got it out. It's having such a problem. I didn't realize, I guess, this slip was getting caught. 
so I just disconnected one of the uh, screws and I should have just done that to begin with but I didn't and that was causing a lot of issues and it just didn't want to slide out um, and then the clutch and the pressure plate just ended up falling so hopefully I didn't mess anything up in there I think it should be fine but I don't know I gotta look at that because it's got a brand new clutch and brand new flywheel so I'm gonna take the flywheel off while it's on here it's gonna be the first thing um, probably gonna try to readjust this maybe try to connect this to here or something not, it's not the biggest deal. I've kept moving it and stuff, and it was fine. And then, yeah, and then I guess get the motor out, and then we can get the transmission out. That should be it. And then we can start cutting the rest of this stuff, which there's not too much left. Just the power steering pump, um, all these lines, gonna take all them out. The rest of the wiring harness, drop the axles, and then should be good. So, gonna get to it now, and that should be it. I also wanna say too, uh, yesterday's content was probably pretty lacking. I'm sure a lot of this has been kinda lacking. I'll start doing something, and then I kinda just stop really filming so much, because I just am like focused on that and trying to get it done. It's very hard to film and do this at the same time and make it entertaining. So I'm just like trying to get things done quickly because I don't have a lot of time to work sometimes, and then, I don't know, it's just not as quality as I would like to do it. So I'm gonna try to be a little bit better about that, so today hopefully we can get some decent content pulling the rest of this and then just got the rest hopefully the rest of it will be basically done today that that's the plan so we'll see hopefully this doesn't take me very long because it's basically already out we just got to put it on the uh the motor mount and i wish i would have taken the that fan off the clutch and clutch and the clutch and the fan off would have been a lot easier probably because it just keeps riding up against that but yeah. Last one, best one. All right. Holy shit, that's heavy. Oh my gosh. why you check before you pull it of course that's why it probably wasn't rolling very easily all right she's out let's try it one more time and do this get it on the stand Final drop down. So if you don't fall. Oh hell yes. There we go. Finally. What a pain. Gosh, there's so much work to do. Oh my gosh. What an idea. Let's just do a frame off restoration. It'll be easy. And that's the end. Power train is out. Oh man. I really didn't think we were gonna get this far. So much work to do. Ah. Keep my garage. Oh, we got it all in here. All right, boys, this is the end of the video. 
So we got everything finally in here. It took a lot of F-bombs and everything. <laughs> this is such a pain to do by myself. But everything is officially out. So if you guys enjoyed, hopefully now we can start doing more of the fun stuff. We just got a couple of brake lines and stuff to get out. Um, once we get all that stuff out, I'm going to drop the axles and then we are going to sandblast that entire frame and then put some paint on it finally. And then it'll feel like we're actually doing something. This is still all just been the teardown process. It's taken forever, but we are very, very close. And I can't believe we got this far because I honestly didn't think we were going to do it. So peace out if you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate it.